Hey everyone, it's Bethany, and in this video I'm working on creating a card, and I thought it would be really fun to use the Cricut pens. So, as promised, I'm going to be doing a full tutorial today on using the Cricut pens. Recently in a Cricut haul, I showed you that I got the pen pack. I think there were about 30 in there, and I'm really excited because all the colors are really, really neat. So I picked out a few that are going to work in the design that I chose today, and we're going to send them through the machine. I'm going to show you how to load them and how they're going to draw out the little design that I I'm going to show you in design space. I also have some new Cricut paper. Um, I got a few packs of Cricut paper recently. I didn't do a haul video on them, but I did get a few packs of paper because they were on sale and they were super pretty, but I'm going to be using this and it came from this pack. This is called the Divine Peonies Deluxe Paper and there's a lot of different variety in here. They're very, very pretty and they're double sided too. So there's a lot of fun little options. I'll link this down below too. This one is one of my favorites because I've actually used, um, I think a Martha Stewart paper that is very similar. It's like a watercolor pink. Um, and then on the other side, it's a nice gingham blue, which is really, really fun for summer. And then there are others. This one's really neat too. It's um, a floral design, but it's kind of on a distressed watercolor blue. And then a really pretty vine. And this one's really neat too. And I love the back where it's kind of like a confetti looking. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a little white confetti looking on the back. And then there is this pretty one too. So I grabbed, there's two sheets of each. I grabbed this little watercolor floral one and then on the back there's this really pretty hot pink and kind of confetti look. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this down and I'm going to make a five by five card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this in my trimmer and I'm going to open this little arm out because that helps me measure. And I'm going to measure five inches. So I'll put that to the five. Okay. And then I'm going to double that and I'm going to cut by 10 inches so that I can fold it right in half and it will be five by five. So our first is a five inches by 10 inches. So this is the long side at 10 inches. Okay, now once that is trimmed, I can keep these little pieces too. Once this is trimmed, what I can do is I will take my little bone folder here. So I'm going to take my paper. I love that the inside is going to be this hot pink. I'm just going to fold this in half just like this. Okay, and put a little crease in the middle right here. And I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to fold towards the edges there. And then I have my nice five by five card right here. Very, very cute. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have my card base made. It's really pretty. And I am going to do a design on this card stock. So this is what I'm going to be doing the pens on, on the Cricut. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you into design space and I'm going to show you how I'm going to measure out this. And then I'm going to show you how to use the pens. So it's going to be really fun. I'm going to use um, a variety of pens. I'll tell you the colors that I'm using and I'll show you how the Cricut Design Space shows you exactly what pens to load next. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I am going to come over to the shapes and I am just going to create my 5x5 five five card and this is going to just help me visualize everything. So I'm just going to make it a pink color and I'm going to come up and I am going to make the width 5 which will automatically make the height Five because I have this lock button turned on. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a lot bigger for us so we can see. Okay, so let's make that one more bigger. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another shape and grab another square and this one is going to be our white and then I'm going to just get this the exact size that I want. So this is going to be a little overlay. So I think I'm going to do roughly 4.3, well it's about 4.4 by 4.4. Probably make that just a little 
smaller just so I can really see the border um, of my floral card there. Okay, so I'm at 4.325 by 4.325. Okay, so I am going to duplicate this because I'm also going to make one for the inside of my card so I can write on because the inside was that nice bright pink, which is beautiful, but it can be a little hard to write on. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the other one and just place this over here. Okay, now I'm going to go find my design that's going to be drawn out with the pens. So I'm going to come over here to images and I am going to type in floral circle. Okay, and then I'm going to be using this right here. Now if I click the info button, I can view image sets and there are a lot of really neat. So this is in the set called Dimensional Scenes Pretty Posy, I believe. So it's really, really neat. Okay, so there are, there's this circle floral, which is the one I'm going to use. There is a square floral that's really neat, a nice border. There's also a little border down here um, that's just, you could put at the top or bottom. So a lot of fun options. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this circle one and then insert it. And I am going to place that right on, I guess I don't need, it comes with its own little white background, but I can hide that because I've made my own. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and place it on my white piece here and get it sized. So, size that up, whoops, size that up just a little bit more. Just like that. Okay, so now, let me go ahead and center everything. So I'm gonna grab all of my pieces here and I'm going to say align and then center. So now the white card is centered on the back card and then the floral design is centered on the white. Okay, so everything is centered in where it needs to be. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to do a little writing in the middle. So I'm gonna come over my to my text box. I'm going to use the font Kaiden, it's K-Y-D-E-N. Okay, and I'm going to just write a sentiment right in the middle of the card. So I'm going to write each line separately in its own text box and then I'm going to arrange them. So you can do this however you'd like, but this is kind of how I like to do it when I have three lines. Okay, so I am going to say feel. Okay, and then I'm going to put that to the side. So I also need to change it because it is right now a cut file. And if you notice, everything else right here is going to be using our pen because it says draw, but the text says cut. So I need to come over to style and I need to say writing. Okay, so now it says draw right over here. Okay, so now I'm going to add a next one. So I'm gonna add another text box and I am going to say better, okay. And then it's already defaulted to the writing because I changed the first one, so I don't need to do anything additional. And then my final text box will say soon. Okay, so now what I can do is I'll just kind of arrange these right here. And then I can grab them and then size them down just a little bit. And then I'm going to place them right on my card here. Okay, and what I can do is I can say align and I can say center horizontally. Okay, so that centered the letters and then it looks pretty good. Um, what I can do is I can also grab everything now and I can say align and I can say center horizontally. Whoops, that did not make that very center. Well, actually it is probably center, but because this has a little bit thicker, um, area on there, it, um, it doesn't visually look quite as center. So I'm actually gonna go with how I had it. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so that is going to be my final look. So what I'm going to do is I am going to select, I'm gonna take away this pink piece because this is just for visual purposes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hide it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight everything and I am going to attach it all together. So what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that all of my drawing pieces are are going to draw in the exact place that I have them placed on this little four by three by four by three um, card here. So I'm going to come over here again. Everything is attached or everything is selected, and I'm going to click attach. It's this little paper clip button down here. So I'm going to go ahead and say attach. Okay, and so again, this is going to be my inside piece, so that looks great. And now I'm going to have my explorer selected up here, and I'm going to click make it. 
Okay, so now I have my pieces right here. I can go ahead and load my cardstock. Um, so one is going to have the pen feature on this side, and then this is going to be my blank insert. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. For materials, I'll say browse all materials, and I will go to cardstock for intricate cuts, or actually medium cardstock would be just fine. And then right here is where it's going to share what pen colors you're going to use. So that's really, really exciting. One thing I need to show you, let me hit cancel. Yes. Okay, one thing I want to show you is if I go all the way back to my canvas, you can see the colors if you click on any of the lines um, and over here, you can see the color it's going to use over up in here. So it will have a little box with the color up there. Um, I don't know that it actually tells you the actual color in this screen because I'm kind of coming down in here and it's not really highlighting anything specific, but you can change your colors there too. So that actually reminds me, I need to change my font colors to a different color. So I know one of my colors is called Actually, I think I'm going to make this like a dark gray. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna change my color. So there's all these colors. And I think the dark gray I'm going to use is called Armadillo. So I don't know if it's at the top. Yes, right here, Armadillo. Okay, so then I can grab each piece that I need to change. So the better, I'll come up here and change it to Armadillo. And then the soon, I'll change that to Armadillo. Okay, so again, all of, that's where you can make the selection for all of the colors that you can choose from. Okay, the other ones, I'm just gonna use the default, um, what they have already chosen, because they have done a nice job. So again, we're going back to make it. We'll get back to that final screen. I'm gonna go ahead and just change this to cardstock for intricate cuts, just regular cardstock. Okay, and then I'll click done. And then again, this is where it's going to tell you all of the colors. So we have cactus pink. First and foremost, we actually, it says load the color moccasin in there. And so you can either choose these exact colors or you can choose something similar. So I think for moccasin, I have a different color called tawny. Um, I have the moccasin color, but I just, when I saw it, I thought that the tawny would work better. So you can do that. You can just select which pen you like the best. And then again, it says coming up will be the cactus pink, the crystal pink, mint, honeysuckle, sage, sour apple, and then armadillo is with the one that I had added for my text. Okay, so we'll go ahead and load our first color. Um, again, the color I chose instead was tawny, and I think all of the others are the same, except for instead of mint, I am going to use one called gemstone blue. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead Ahead and get everything loaded and we'll start drawing. Okay, so I have all of my colors here that are ready to go and I am going to load this tawny color first. It's really pretty. Um, this is kind of like a caramel color. I really like it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my machine and I have my mat and my card stuck right on my mat. So I place it on a light grip mat. So I'm going to go ahead and press the flashing arrow buttons to get this loaded. And then we are going to place our pen in clamp A. So clamp B has our blade. Clamp A is going to be for the pen. So I've just opened up the clamp, super easy. And then I'm going to place it face down until you hear a click. So once you hear the click, you just close the clamp and you are all good to go. So now we can just select start and it will get to drawing. And then the screen is going to prompt us with which pen to load next.
Okay, so just unloading and going to put my final pen in. So what you've seen me do is I'll just place the next pen in, get it loaded into clamp A, and once it's loaded, I'll just re-click the Cricut button and it will start again. Now that the pen is done, it automatically switched to clamp B and now it's doing the cut. Okay, now it's all done, I can go ahead and unload my mat and we will get started putting the cart together. Okay, so what I'm going to do with my mat is I am going to just peel up a little corner here and kind of just bend till I can see a corner come up. And then I'm going to take my little spatula tool and I'm going to just place it right under and then I'm just going to help bring that little piece of cardstock off the mat. So this is almost like picking up cookies off a cookie sheet. You're just going to slide that spatula right underneath and it helps bring up the card off of the mat. And it does it without any um, peeling or any um, rolling or anything like that. So it looks really, really nice. So this is how it turned out. I think it's really cute. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the second. Okay, so now I have both of my pieces off of my mat, and now I can place them on my card. So I think for the front, I think I'm going to use, that looks really pretty. Okay, I think I'm going to use some foam adhesive dots so that I can kind of have it raised off of the card. I think that will be really pretty. So I think I got these just at Hobby Lobby. You can get these literally anywhere at any craft store at least. And I'm going to, they come in a variety of sizes. So you have some small, medium, and large. So I think what I'm going to do is I think the large ones might be better for this. So I'm going to go ahead and place one on each corner, but I'm also going to place a couple in the middle as well, just because I don't want that middle to be hollow to where it would sink in. So I'll place a couple in there as well. Okay, and so they are double-sided, so then you will just take off this little top layer, it has a little stick on it, and we can place it on our card. So let me know, have you guys used the Cricut pens yet? I have been really excited to use them. I did a craft to where I showed you how I store my Cricut pens, so they're all ready and organized, and now they're just awaiting some inspiration. I've actually wanted to do this particular card for a while now. Um, I think it's been on my list since probably early spring. So now I have someone who is in need of a get well card, so I thought this would be really pretty, plus I think it goes well, really good with this paper. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn this over and get this as centered as I can, just like this. And then I'll just place it right in there. So it has a nice little raised edge. I think that looks really, really nice. It looks really sleek. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is with the inside, I am just going to take some glue. So I just have a little glue stick here. And I'm just going to glue that little piece inside. And this is going to give me a little place to put um, my sentiment on the inside when I am ready. Okay, another idea that you could do is, do you remember when I was showing you all of the different ideas in that cartridge? They had a square one, they had the circular one, of course, and they just had the little um, bottom border, is you could have the pen do just a small version on the inside as well. Um, that would be really, really pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to place that right in the middle here. That way I have a nice little spot for my sentiment on the inside and we are all set. All right, make sure you give this a thumbs up if you think this turned out really pretty. I think the person receiving this is going to really love it. I love all the little colors. They're really nice. And again, I hope you found that very helpful with how to load your Cricut pens into your machine so that you can use that fun drawing feature. All right, everyone, I think this is really beautiful and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next video.